how quickly and how long is it taking to sell homes? What? I mean, I got there was a real question because they were curious. We're talking hours, days, weeks, and and I explained to them it depends on a variety of circumstances where we're talking about. Is it on land and all that type of thing? But generally speaking, like, how would you answer that? Really, really fast. Um, you know, there's the average days on market varies from pocket to pocket. And we, we, we tell people, we've been saying this for years, real estate is hyper-local. So if you hear the average days on market in Dallas is 27, that doesn't mean much because Dallas includes, you know, lots of zip codes, tons of neighborhoods, thousands and thousands of homes. It, it's a giant average of way too much data. So when you're looking at days on market, you really want to look at most at your neighborhood ideally at your street and potentially at your type of property on your street. And in the more desirable areas in DFW, those numbers are are more likely in the teens, 13, 14, 15, things like that. There are definitely some areas in the Metroplex that are over 30, 33, 34 uh, days on market. Um, But for example, our team is currently averaging about four days. Uh, for the homes that are in our target areas where we're, you know, we built our system to sell homes in, you know, the, the mid to upper mid neighborhood home, homes on one to 10 acres, you know, homes near the golf course or with the swimming pool. But the general rule is homes have never sold as fast as they're selling all across DFW right now. Uh, again, there's always exceptions to these things, but generally speaking, homes are selling under a month. Now, a lot of people are assuming, to your point, the way you asked the question, that homes are all selling in like 45 minutes in every price point in every market. And that's really not the case. You can look in even the most competitive areas within DFW, and the the, the market averages will be in the teens to low 20s in most of those places, in most of those price ranges. Again, some areas we're seeing 34, 35 days on market. Um the reason for that is you're you're averaging in the one that smells like cat urine and has broken windows uh, or the one where the seller was just unbelievably stubborn and didn't let people in to see it most days um, and you know refused to accept obscenely great offers or was marketed by a bad agent and you know, with a bad plan and didn't get showings and all those things get averaged into the overall averages. Yeah, when I look at um, we've got we. We actually have a market report that we sent to folks. We have an economist put this together for us, and he collaborates data over the previous six months. When I look at the data for Richardson, um, you know, three to 400,000, 22 days. Yep. Uh, four to five, 23 days. When we look at Plano, we're looking at 18, 19 days. Um, when we look at Dallas, we're right around the same in Dallas. I mean, that, and that's a big city, obviously. Right. But it, it's not an average of one day or right. two days, like over the last six months. And we can all agree it's not been this way only recently. It's right. been this way for months, but we're still seeing the average days on market be the upper teens to low. Right. And that, the, I think the point here is that the the low teens to, to and in the twenties is the lowest it's ever been. Yeah. Right now, you know, if you're asking what's possible, you know, here at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, we guarantee to sell your home over the average price and under the average time, which means the current averages, right? So the current average for sale price is as high as it's ever been. And the current average for days on market is as low as it's ever been. We guarantee that our agents on our team will sell your house for more money than the current average and in less time than the current average. So take Richardson, for example. We are literally, no exaggeration, averaging about 11% over the current higher than ever average sales price. And we're, we're averaging about three times faster than the current average days on market. So if the average days on market in Richardson is 18, which is it almost exactly is, our average is about six. And the reality is our average is about three. But it's hard. We update these numbers sometimes and people just don't believe them. But the reality is um, when when you approach the general market right now, your home's going to sell well. But 
I, I strongly suggest if you're selling in this market that you're not lazy about it. That's the number one problem we see with sellers right now is they're being lazy because the market is so favorable. So they go out and they do get a good deal. They don't get the best deal they could have, but they do get a good deal and they don't know what they missed out on. Uh, so they're happy, which is great. I'm glad that sellers are happy, but we're seeing sellers leaving 40, 50, 100, 200, thousand dollars on the table and um, oftentimes it taking a lot longer. Now there is there is some nuance to days on market. Staying on the market for an extra day or two or three is not unwise. Sometimes that's the smarter play is not to just jump at the very first offer that you get. Um, in a market like this, if you're marketed well, you should be able to get uh, not all the time, but a lot of the time more than one offer. And so there's a strategy as to understanding and figuring out which one's best. Um, but again, that doesn't apply to every single property. So some sellers in the current market need to be aware that they have a unique property and it needs a unique approach. If you're looking for a team that can put together a customized approach for any property anywhere in DFW, reach out to us, toddtremonteteam.com.